Hello my friends, it's Bruns here, welcome back to the channel and it's been a while I haven't posted a video but I felt compelled to post a video today after the first review of Texas Chainsaw Massacre game came out by IGN and I think a lot of us are just really scratching our heads. Some of us are probably worried because we're thinking what's gonna happen with this game? So much love has been put into this game by gun and a lot of people have pre-ordered the game, myself included, so people are already thinking oh is it gonna die very soon? Some people are completely ignoring IGN because if you actually read and watch the review you're gonna see that there's, there's some really oddities that this guy talks about and he's missing a lot of stuff as well from the review it only makes me wonder you say you play 20 hours but how much have you delved into this game really have you played with every single character and what about the perks i think there's a lot of worry and confusion at the moment all i want to say is that we know how committed gun is from the previous experience we had with them in particular friday the 13th we know these guys are making games for the fun of it. They're not making games to make money. They didn't create pre-order editions that would give you extra skins or an advantage on the game at all. People post weird stuff on Twitter, egging these guys on, and these guys are like, if this game doesn't look like it's for you, just don't play the game. These guys are really not worried about what other people are saying. And I have to say, this is why I really love them. What happened with Friday the 13th, it was, it was just incredible. They were just dishing out content after content. They polished the game, which also came out with a pretty bad score from IGN of a 6.9. And it was full of bugs at launch. Yes, it was but it was still super fun to play and people stuck to the game because Gun kept polishing it and polishing it and adding more and more content and the game just lived right to the end when the license was pulled because of you know it's complicated and I'm not gonna go into all that so on this review on IGN this guy is not talking at all about the perks that the victims and the family members can equip about their powers, about the combinations that they can have. And maybe, because we haven't played the game, we only played the PCB, so maybe there isn't a lot of depth to it, but he could have at least delved into it a little bit to give us a little hint on what's going on. But it kind of makes me think that he didn't think that's important. And I think it's all about games like this, it's all about perks and builds, right? We know from Dead by Daylight how that works. And of course, Dead by Daylight is a completely different beast because the perks are interchangeable between all the killers and all survivors. But also, what this guy says at one point in the video is that there is no tutorials at all for people to try the game and try to get to grips with it. And I agree, that's probably one thing that they could have. Because Evil Dead, you had a terrible tutorial. In Friday the 13th, they did not have a tutorial that was playable. It was just a tutorial with screenshots and all that. And it's pretty much what they're going for in Texas Chainsaw Game. In Dead by Daylight, yes, there is a playable tutorial. And I think that is helpful. So maybe they could introduce that at some point. I don't think it's game breaking. I don't think it, it takes any value of the game at all. And also what this guy says is that it can be extremely frustrating at the beginning when nobody knows what they're doing and your teammates don't know what they're doing. This is the most fun you are gonna have in this game when the game first launches because nobody knows what they're doing. People are just trying new things. They're trying to discover the mechanics of the game and more importantly, the hidden mechanics of the game. Games like this are bound to have hidden mechanics. A lot of the times these mechanics are non-intentional by the devs and then they go and patch it or maybe they or maybe they think actually this is pretty cool we're gonna leave it so this is the time that people are gonna figure out a lot of stuff yeah it's gonna be buggy yeah it's probably gonna be buggy it's gonna be apparently some frame rate issues but i really don't think that's gonna be a massive deal because they're gonna iron this out the same way they iron it out with Friday the 13th. And guess what? Their budget is much bigger than they have with Friday the 13th. So they're much more likely to iron these out much quicker. So I'm really not worried about what's gonna happen with this game. I'm actually looking forward to it. So if you don't know yet, this game is coming out this Friday, the 18th of August on PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. I think this game is gonna be so much fun because having a team of three killers versus four victims, not survivors, victims, it's really a game changer and I can't wait to play and I hope you'll all join me Friday when we start playing this. And also, if you haven't read about the meta game yet, I'm going to drop a link down in the description. So that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop me a like and subscribe for more content like this. I will be doing videos on builds, gameplay and much more. So stay tuned for more. Thank you for watching and I will see you all next time.